you uh you've got that right. Let's uh let's dive into another topic here. Um Florida Governor Ron DeSantis came out and said that the state will welcome pro teams that cannot play in their own states. He's already spoken with the AD at Florida State and the AD at Florida, and those two stadiums will be open for, uh, I'm going to guess, NFL teams. They didn't specify, but those stadiums will be open for those teams. Along with that, you've still got tons of other, you've got the, I understand the Jaguars are playing in Jacksonville. I get that. Tampa Bay also. Like, it, there's there's a ton of different places where well, you, you can still, play. You have Central Florida. You've got Boca. You've got Orlando. I mean, you, you, you've got, you got yeah. Yeah, you've got, you've got plenty of places in Florida to house any, if Seattle can't open, if the California teams can't open and they want to relocate to the sunny, you know, East Coast, we got a yeah. spot for them. They, and, and I think it is genius, right? Um, Darren McArdle said, are his stats worth the pay? Talking about uh, Blake Snell. Correct. Yes. They uh, are. Yeah. I, I think they, I'm going to tell you, he's a hell of a pitcher. They are. Yeah. And and they are. and going rate for pitchers is, like, especially pitchers that do what he does, yeah. really high. Yeah. So, yeah, he's he's worth the money. Yeah. He's making substantially less than Strasburg than, 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 you know, some of these top-tier pitchers, and he is a top-tier pitcher. He just doesn't have the fame and the name yet because he's in Tampa. Uh, and and he's young. I mean, he's, well, he's like young he's, too. He's yeah. it, young has nothing to do with it. He's been in the league for four years. Yeah. Well, but that's what I'm saying. Like four years is is nothing for some of these guys, right? Like uh, there's some guys that come in four and, years, and fired up. Four years is a lot. If you ain't made it in four years in baseball, you're not making it. Agreed. But he has been on a major league roster for four years, and that's that's a pretty big deal. So, um, and then Michael said overpaid in the sense of playing sports for millions of dollars. Technically, every prov- <laughs> yes. If you're if you're going down that route, a hundred percent yes. Uh, it, most Ooh, most last athletes. year last year he was terrible. So basically, in 2018 was his monster year that I'm talking about. Started 31 games, won 21, went 21 five with a 1.89 ERA. That is nasty, and that's what I was remembering and thinking. Uh, 2019 started 23 games, six and eight with a 4.3 ERA. Ooh, yeah, that's definitely not good. That's definitely that, not good. But well, the race, the race were a lot better in 2018 than they were in 2019. So, no, in 2019 is when they made the playoff game last year. They made the they made is the wild right? card playoff game, right? I didn't, I didn't think so. We were on with TJ. Remember that night he was stuck in traffic. That had to be last year. Oh, I guess it was. Yeah, you're right. I'll be damned. Well, 2018, the Red Sox won the series, and the uh, the Tampa Bay was terrible. Yeah. Okay. No, yeah, that, that, that makes sense. That, um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, so maybe he's not worth all that. I just remember his 2018 season and that, that year. Well, last year was the first year of, of the contract. <laughs> so, well, so in 2017 year. to market 2017, he started 24 games, went five and seven with a four ERA. So not great either. So. Well, but then in 2018, when he had that monster year is when he was in a contract year. That's what, yeah. Yeah. It was a contract so, year and, and he got his money. So you might, you know what? There's some players that only show up on contract years. So, I mean, who knows? He's only had one contract year. So, well, yeah, <laughs> you know? that's right. But we'll we'll see. We'll see. He's got to get better than what he has. But anyway, neither here nor there. Maybe I, maybe he might not be worth the money and the pain in the ass because I, I was thinking that 2018 year, I knew this dude was a stud. Well, it, here's here's the other thing. Taking this away from just him, he's not the only one that feels this way. True, like, he's only J- dumb enough to say it publicly, but yeah. Jared Carabas, the guy for Barstool that used to play in the MLB, said he agrees 100%. Well, like, there's a re- he doesn't play anymore, and he, whatever. I don't know, man. I ag- agree, but it's it. Uh, what I'm saying is there's other guys that are not going to say it publicly. Yes. But they agree, and they want Plenty their money. Plenty of them feel this way. That's why I say yeah. they're disconnected. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Uh, right, move on. The Michael, Florida thing. But, well, Michael said uh, Snell probably pays uh, less taxes than most, right? No state income tax in Florida. Yeah, Chris and I were talking about that before we came on. Yeah, yeah there's there's no state income, but he still has federal. And he's, and he's in a higher tax state bracket. income tax is a small amount. Yeah. I mean, he, unless he, you live in California. So I got to ask you a question. So let's say the 49ers and the LA Rams, the LA Chargers say, we'll take you up on that. And they play the entire season in Florida. Yep. Okay. If I'm that player, 
can I claim Florida as the residency and be taxed in Florida instead of California? Because that state income tax difference is a lot of damn money. Are you, Jimmy are you moving? Jimmy G would recognize the difference in uh, taxes that he would pay from that. Um. Well, let me think here. Uh, it, d- it would depend on if you still have a place of residence in, in California, No, because right? you can have residence in multiple places. Well, it's if you if you live in the state of Florida for the season and your paychecks are coming to Florida, yeah, a hundred percent. Like I, I think I think every I player I think you would have to officially claim that as your resident, but I mean it's uh, it's as simple as this is where I live now and the other house is a vacation home. I mean that's not hard to do. Yeah. Uh Michael said Amen Chris income tax is ridiculous. Yeah, especially in California. Good gracious. Uh McKinnon said the Florida call makes a shitload of sense seeing as the stadiums across the state for all sports are typically never full. They lose tons in ticket revenue that can absolutely make up the difference in ticket sales if they charge the pro teams to use the facilities. hundred uh, percent. Like in Orlando, they That's were if we get fans, obviously. Well, no, no, yeah. no, it, no, no, no. Just just to charge the the team for using the facilities. The facility, yeah. No, you're getting something. Those colleges are getting something. Yeah. So like which or, is which is nice. I'll tell you this. If I was a college, I'd be pissed off at that I'm in a like Louisiana, nobody's coming to Baton Rouge to play. Nobody's nobody's going to yeah. West Monroe, all right, to host their NFL team. But there you go. Uh, Matt said you pay state taxes in the state you played in, like if you did work in Tennessee and then in Mississippi. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't think I, – yes, when I worked in Tennessee, they took out – I, I work in Tennessee and I pay Mississippi State income tax. I was about to say, I think it's where you live. They will yeah. take the take it out of your money. You get it all back if you don't live there. Go yeah. Um, game in California. Uh, let's see. You pay for their taxes on that game. Then a game in Illinois, you pay that state tax. I don't. I don't think that's right. Now, if you're a visiting player, when the Patriots go to play in San Francisco, they don't. Their game check is not is not taxed at California's rate. All right, so here's uh, Matt Miller said, this is what the internet says uh, uh, regarding pay non-resident income taxes for the state in which you work. Uh, or no, you pay non-resident income tax for the state in which you work and resident income taxes for the state in which you live while filing income tax returns for both states. So, like for me, I don't have to file Tennessee because there is no state income tax. Uh, right. But I live in Mississippi, so. But even if you did, because you don't live there, you would get 100% of it back. Yeah. They would take it out of your check. Because they automatically take it out of your check. At the end of the year, you will get that back. Yeah, you and would, you probably could fight them and take it out of your check. It'd just be a pain in the ass. But if you're a yeah. multimillionaire, it'd be worth fighting to get it out of your check. Oh, 100%. 100%. So I'm, I'm sure that the NFL has that all figured out. Yeah, like, if, I was, if I was Jimmy G, I would be calling up Tommy B right now and be like, uh, you want to get the Wolfpack back together? And yeah. uh, we uh, room in that palace that you're living in of Derek Jeter's? Uh, 100%. 100%. Uh, I, I think Matt said, watch broke on ESPN. Okay. I, hey, that's, that's something I'll, I'll oh, go yeah. back and watch. Um, cause I, I am intrigued by it now. Like I, I'm, I had not put a whole lot of thought into it, but that is definitely, uh, an interesting thing. I mean, when you think about how complicated money is, I mean, it's just absurd. It's like, does it really have to be like <laughs> <laughs> I don't no, think it, it does. It doesn't. It really doesn't. Uh, it really doesn't. You're talking to a guy that believes that this is all bullshit. But what well, Michael said, the government like always I'm a lunatic. wins. Yeah, and he said the government always wins. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. They do. Uh, we can so, make the most even tax possible. I'm about to go on a tangent here for just three. No, go seconds. ahead. Go ahead. We go can ahead. make the easiest and most even tax. The rich get taxed more. The poor get taxed less. But everybody pays something. If we did away completely with all income tax and everything, and we just upped our um, taxes of goods and services, all sales taxes were inflated. So therefore, when you're a rich guy and you go out and you buy rich guy shit all the time, you're going to pay more in taxes. And if you're a broke person and you buy broke guy shit all the time, you're going to pay less in taxes. And now we're all paying. And if you're a tightwad, even if you make a lot of money, but you don't want to pay a lot in taxes, don't buy shit. Just don't buy shit. Yeah. Well, I but think, I think that's what most people say anyway. You pay right? in taxes. Like uh, the financial independence people always tell you, like, just spend below your means all the time, right? Yeah. That so. Now you control it. 
and everybody is taxed fairly. If you're poor and you live rich, that's your fault. 100%. You paid a lot in taxes, but that was your choice. Yeah, you decided what you want. Well, what? How, how do you feel about uh, like if there was a set income tax across the country, like it say like it. say it was ten percent for everybody or whatever? Don't. No, out on that. Don't. Okay, Don't like I, I, I like your your idea of everybody having the choice. Uh, probably rising the, tide floats all boats. We all pay the same amount. Doesn't matter. There you go. We're all gonna pay the same percentage that way. Yeah, you're if not you buying wanna, a TV cheaper than me. But your TV might be four or five thousand dollars. If you're a rich guy, it might be twenty thousand dollars, and my TV might cost two hundred dollars. Yep. What we paid appropriate amount in taxes. There you go, based you on go. how we live. <laughs> Matt Miller said a lot of athletes end up broke because they grew up without it and they didn't grow up around it either, so they don't know how to use it. Uh, and then Michael and says they also have it stolen from them too. Yeah, oh, one hundred percent. Money managers, all that crap, family, everything. I mean, it's just oh ridiculous. shit, yeah. Um, that handout, that entourage ain't no joke, man. No, it, it it's going to cost you to keep some some friends around. Uh, Michael said taxes and death only guarantees in life. 100%. And Alabama field goal kickers missing uh, <laughs> missing very important field goals. <laughs> so, you know, we'll, we'll keep up with that. Um, all right, so I, I like this idea of Florida uh, doing this. I, I mean, obviously, we're really focusing on, like, the California teams right now. Uh, if the I can't Dodgers, imagine any you know, other state doing it. I mean, New England might have to. Like, you know, the maybe, New York teams might have to. Maybe Washington, and then you know, definitely we're focusing on California right now because I mean, they they just extended. Um, yeah. Maybe New York, maybe New Jersey, Seattle, yeah. the Washington, the New York teams, um, and 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 New England. I mean, I could I could see those. I can't see anybody in the Midwest or the South needing this. No. But that's okay because they don't have enough for everybody to move down there. They just got enough. But I'll tell you this: if all three California teams need a place to go, they got enough spot. They got three spots. Yeah. If I mean, both New York teams need a place to go, shit, New Yorkers live in New – they would have the biggest fan bases. I promise you the Jets would sell more games in California and Florida than they would in New York. Oh, 100%. There's nothing but New Yorkers down there. That's where yeah. they all go. Exactly. It'd be great for the Giants. Yeah. Probably pretty good for the Jets. I think I think more Better older – the Jets than the Giants. Yeah. Most but, Giants fans come out for games still. Jets fans, they don't even show up but anymore. Jets fans are all – you know, they were all fans back in the – the 60s and 70s. They didn't show up so, anymore. Well, that's because they're all in Florida. Like That's right. That's right. <laughs> that might work. Ben no. said, uh, it, then the athletes still crab legs once they go broke. I always got to toss in them jams. 